Today we take a look at some insane features and easter eggs in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora that you've probably missed. Let's get to it. It seems like every day I discover something new as I spend time in this game. It is filled full of so many little details. It is absolutely amazing. And the first one I want to talk about is how you can easily tell if a resource is superior or exquisite without using your Navi sense or having any type of buffs. Superior and exquisite resources all have little butterfly type bugs that fly around them. This happens all the time regardless of anything. You can just look at the resource up close without scanning it and see that there are little bugs flying around it. If it only has three, it is superior. If there are eight, it is exquisite. So if you use your hunter's guide to go to an area that tells you there are rarer versions of a resource at that area and you just look look around at the resources, you can quickly and easily tell which ones are exquisite and harvest them. I thought this next one was very interesting. I'm not sure how you would ever really use it except for just funsies, but the large leaved plants that are in specific biomes that break your fall can break your fall from literally any height. You can fly to the top of the map as far as it will let you fly on your Ikron and you can jump off of it and just glide all the way down and as long as you hit at least one of those leaves you will not die. This game has an insane level of detail to the point that this next little easter egg absolutely blew my mind when I realized it was a thing. Eyes respond to light level in this game. The iris will shrink and expand depending on what time of day it is. You can see this really easily by going into photo mode. It works on everything however some things it is way more noticeable than others. For example, you can see it on the Navi and you can see it on your Ikron extremely well. You can also see it on a lot of other creatures if you just run up to them and immediately go into photo mode and change the time of day. The insane part of this is that there are many creatures that you never even get close enough to when they are alive to see this actually happen, but they put it in the game probably just for photo mode, which is absolutely insane. There are rainbows in the game. I'm not sure exactly what has to happen. Normally rain would happen while it's still sunlight out in order for a rainbow to happen, but I was just flying on my Ikron and noticed that there was a rainbow in the sky and it hadn't been raining. That's it for that one. There's just rainbows in the game. How cool is that? All resources respawn once you are a specific distance away from them. I'm not sure what that difference is. It's probably dependent on your settings and what your render level is at and I'm assuming that once you get out of render distance and then you re-render it, it respawns, but you can easily respawn any resource that you want just by going away from it and coming right back. This is insanely handy for stocking up on a decent amount of exquisite resources when you find them. This way you don't have to come back to them later on and hunt them down again when you decide to upgrade your gear. From what I can tell, the higher level resources also give you more favor with the Navi if you need more favor so you could harvest a bunch of them and turn them in. I don't know why you'd need more favor because I for one have more than I know what to do with but if for some reason you wanted to farm it you could relatively easy with this trick. This next one is my absolute favorite out of all of these and it took me so many hours in the game until I realized it was a thing. You can pet your Ikron. All you have to do is land, get off of it, walk around to the front of it and you will get an option to pet it. When you go into pet mode, you actually have to move your mouse or controller around to rub your hand on its head. And the fun thing about this is if you do it long enough, you will get special dialogue and it will fall asleep in your hands. How freaking adorable is that? This is just a nice little touch that helps you to feel way more connected to your major flight mechanic in the game than you otherwise would. If for some reason your inventory is full when you get a quest reward, don't worry, the quest reward goes into a special stash that you can claim later called missed items. All you have to do is go into your bag and down at the bottom there is a little button. You click it and you can claim the items if you have room for them. And that's all I have for you for this one. What cool little Easter eggs and neat hidden things have you discovered in the game? Let me know down there in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And if you're
you're looking for some more Avatar content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.